Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hello and welcome. So today I'm going to be doing a Valentine's Day look so I mean over the past years that I've been doing these kind of like YouTube videos I have uploaded some Valentine's Day looks and I tend to just do them because you know it's just something nice to do not everyone celebrates Valentine's Day even as someone who is happily married for about four years now and we've been together almost 10 years I still feel like Valentine's Day is just another day but I feel like sometimes we can just like put on some makeup and just have a bit of fun and talk about you know Valentine's Day in general so I thought I would just put on some makeup I've got a couple of new bits that I want to try as well because <laughs> like as usual I'm always picking up makeup so this is kind of like it is a Valentine's Day look, but it's also like a little casual video as well. So I'm going to start off with the collection Feel to Finish. So this is, again, quite, it came out the same time as the Elf one did, but it came out before the Elf um, filter. And a lot of people tend to kind of forget about this one because the Elf one is so kind of like well known now. Of course, it's a, meant to be massive dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury um, Hollywood filter which you know I do understand the hype around that as well I do really like it um, but this is definitely a lot more affordable so talking about like Valentine's Day as I mentioned in the beginning it's just like um I always say to myself like Valentine's Day is you know a way to appreciate not just your partner but people around you that you love as well because I always say Valentine like happy Valentine's Day to my friends as well because I love them just as much as I would I love my husband or I've loved people that I've been kind of with at the time of Valentine's Day and you know a lot of people are very like into Valentine's Day I find it a bit a bit much sometimes I can understand people being into obviously like Christmas and things like that but there's times when people get really over the top with Valentine's Day and I'm not saying it's kind of I mean it's a self preference obviously if someone's like I'm going to buy you 700 roses I'm going to do this I'm going to do that okay good on you if you've got the money to do that and you've got the space to kind of get all of that good for you I mean but for me I find it a little bit tacky um, I'm going in with my number seven stay perfect I absolutely love this foundation it's amazing um yeah I just find stuff like that just to be really like over the top <laughs> i know again sometimes it's a lot of people do it for like social media just to kind of show that they have a lot of money or that they're like super happy in a committed relationship and stuff but honestly there's so many different ways to show someone that you do love them like every valentine's day that me and my husband have been together we never do anything like I just say to him do you want anything and he was like I don't want anything do you want anything and I don't want anything because I don't need anything I've always said this especially at birthdays as well if I want something I will just buy it myself <laughs> I am that kind of person I, I'm so difficult to buy for sometimes because I would say well you know what I don't really need this I don't need anything but if I do want something, I'll just go and get it with my own money. And I know sometimes that can be frustrating for people when they buy gifts. But that's just how some people are. And then some people do wait for certain events like birthdays or Valentine's Day or something like that to ask for those gifts. Or even like Christmas. Um, but yeah, I'm not that um, <laughs> kind of gal. Okay, so now I'm going to go on to my concealer. So I'm going in with my Pink Honey pink camo concealer so i am absolutely loving this concealer right now even though i don't know how to bloody open this box <laughs> i don't know what it is but um let me know if you like valentine's day because like i mentioned so many people are obsessed with it some people really don't care um and some people could just do without it considering if you know sometimes if you don't have a partner or if you um you do have a partner but you both kind of have had bad experiences with valentine's day or anything i would really love to know just see different people's perspectives because a lot of the time it is kind of like a commercial thing now like i've always found like you know mother's day and father's day to be quite an odd thing i know that's weird to say it but i appreciate my parents every day that they're here because who knows tomorrow what will happen i know that sounds quite morbid but 
I've had things happen in my life over the past week where I realised life is too short so to appreciate the people in your life like all the time and not just like go oh yeah today's Mother's Day I'm gonna buy my mum some flowers or I'm gonna go to m and and buy her a card or something like that you know um, but yeah I'm not trying to like damper on it I've like you know like I mentioned on my channel before I've done a Valentine's Day look and I've also done an anti-Valentine's Day look as well because you know I've mentioned before um, going in my revolution uh, powder I just I'm very impartial to these kind of days and I know it's it's each to their own so I don't want to kind of like dwell on it even more so I'm just now going to talk about makeup <laughs> from this moment on but let me know what you feel about Valentine's Day because again it is a very interesting type of day so I'm going to test something new now so I'm going in with the Beauty Crop Cocoa Rose so this is not new as in like to the makeup world it's new to me because I pick I did pick up um like a mystery Valentine's Day bundle from their website and um, this I actually bought as a separate item because they they had like a massive sale on I think they had like maybe 30 40 percent off so I got a bundle with this blush you get this little brush and you get the cocoa rose mist which i'm really looking forward to trying so with this you get four different blushes so i am kind of gonna like these two probably won't do much for me but i feel like the ones at the bottom will definitely will, will definitely do something so i'm gonna go in with this one which is called tiki rose and i have mentioned this before i do have um an affiliate code with oh my god <laughs> with beauty crop if you um want to try any of their stuff holy shit this is okay i didn't realize it was um super pigmented i'm definitely gonna look like a love heart by the end of this video oh my god okay well you can i i can definitely say it is very pigmented i def I, all i did was tap in my brush and it did explode slightly because it is I mean the brush itself is quite bristly so I guess the powders are quite sensitive <laughs> the last thing I want to look like is a clown um, but that's very nice I could say at least that is um, it's very pigmented so I wow I really recommend that that is um, the kind of glow that I like to go for even though it was probably a little bit much so just have to like tap some powder in to kind of get it just down slightly so now I'm gonna go into highlighter so I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood um, I think it's like what's it called highlighter which is absolutely stunning I got this re quite recently and I've used it on my channel before but I thought I would use it because it's quite bougie and it gives me such a stunning glow that I think if I was going out it would definitely last like all day um, and all night so yeah this is stunning I also have a, an affiliate code with Charlotte Tilbury as well if you want to use it I'm not gonna comment anymore on affiliate codes because I'm not even <laughs> that kind of youtuber at all I'm just like just let you know if you ever want to save money because that's that's very helpful saving money is so helpful so now we're gonna go on to we're gonna go on to eyes so I'm just quickly gonna go with my Urban Decay potion because of course I am it's like my go-to step every time I wear eyeshadow now so we'll get this on first so I'm gonna go in with my Melt Cosmetics Love and Butterflies palette so I'm actually just gonna kind of go in with a couple of these shades here because I know red is the color of <laughs> love I guess um, but I just wanted to use that and then as a shimmer I want to go in with my Colourpop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Waka Waka because I actually haven't used this um, I've only used this once so I wanted to like incorporate into a video again so I am going to start off with a nice spectrum brush and go in with um, you know what I actually can't pronounce any of the words so instead of offending uh, people <laughs> I'm just going to point and I'm just going to use that to kind of go all over the lid And then with the same brush, I'm going to go in with this shade just here, which is one of my favourites because, I mean, you can tell because the embossing for the butterfly is almost gone with it. So I'm just going to take it as a kind of wing for this side. I 
I'm actually now going to go in with probably this shade just here because it's quite a light tone so I'm just going to go above these other two shades just to lighten things up slightly because there isn't actually a lighter um, kind of red to blend things out a bit because I don't want the tops to be too harsh so I'm just blending it just to give it a bit more softness. Okay, so I think that's enough for this palette. So I've just used three shades and now we're going to go into um, my Colourpop Super Shop Shadow because, I mean, it's been a while since I've actually used any Colourpop. I haven't done an order, so I'm quite proud of myself on that. But I am um, going to go in with this one. I still haven't actually tried the lips, the kind of lipstick that I got in this collection, which is really annoying because I need to try it. I, I, it's just sitting there in my box to kind of of things to try, but I will hopefully do a video soon and try it. So I'm just going to take the shadow and I'm going to use a brush because I don't want it to be too powerful. Like so I've always said, Super Shock shadows don't ever show up that well on me, which is very disappointing, but I don't know if I'm just doing it wrong, but I just want something quite glittery on my lid. So I'm just going to pack this on. Okay, so that's looking nice, nice and kind of shimmery. So I'm going to go in with an eyeliner now. So I'm just going to use one of my favourite collection liners. This is in the extreme and I'm just going to do a slight wing. Okay, so I'm now going to go in with mascara. So I'm going in with the NARS. I don't even know what this is, the Climax, there we go. <laughs> I always have to remember their names are always something a little bit naughty. So I'm just going to put that just in my lashes obviously I'm not gonna put it anywhere else because I want to add some falsies which is what I never do but I thought if I'm doing a look that's meant to be for a certain occasion I might as well just do something a bit fancy right so now that I have some mascara on I'm gonna go in with the winky luck no, <laughs> no I'm not I'm going in with the pink honey um, Baby Winks Win Adelaine, I think it's called, and I'm using my Jumbo Lash Liner, which is also a lash adhesive by NYX Makeup, so I'm going to put those on and I'll finish it on the lips. Okay, these are looking crazy. Um, <laughs> on a normal kind of date, I wouldn't wear lashes because I just can barely wear them in general. So now we're going to go on to the lips. So we are going in with my Pat McGrath and Star Wars collaboration in the shade Crimson Sunset. So this is actually kind of um, a shimmery red. So I think it would kind of be perfect to kind of bring the look together. So let's get this on. Okay, that is looking really crazy. So now we're going to use the Cocoa Rose like shimmer kind of spray and I've not tried this one before I tried the coconut one which is amazing I love it so I'm just gonna test this the spray if it will come there we go okay that smells really nice actually it's the same smell as the coconut one so that's pretty good. I can't see any kind of bits of glitter, which is nice because I'm not a big fan of having like glitter all over my face, but this is my finished look. So this is essentially something I would probably wear on a date night or if it was, if I even like kind of celebrated Valentine's Day, I would go out, not what well, probably not with this top, but with like a nice dress or something. But let me know if you're doing anything for Valentine's. Do you celebrate it? Do you hate it? I'm really intrigued to know what people actually think of Valentine's these days. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because I film and upload every time I get a chance to. Don't forget to follow me on any of my social medias because I'm always active on there. Thank you so much for watching. Take care guys. Bye -bye.